Okay, everybody, so I'm back again after being back. So this is like my triple back. Um, big scary truck behind me. Uh, I talked about uh, consensus reality, how phones have changed that. I've talked about ADHD and, and how all of a sudden I can be like squirrel in part two video. And then I had to call into a work meeting because I'm running late this morning because I overslept. Um, <clears throat> so, but this is where I want to, this is where I want to pick up. I want to pick up where I left off. <laughs> um, so, we, we've talked about, the, the, I want to get a little bit deeper in, into this. This is why we have such a difficult time agreeing. Uh, we have not quite yet figured out the rules uh, of engagement see we've had smartphones for about 10 years and we've done localized personalized search results and feeds for about the last five uh, but we already had difficulties 10 years 15 20 years ago we already had difficulties agreeing uh, I mean, look no further than the 90s and the 80s. I know, I know the majority of my viewers are, are in the same demographic as me because I get analytics on my channel. I know who you are. Um, so we all, most all of us have memories of the 90s. Uh, some of us a little older than, than others. Um, yeah, I was born in the early, early 80s. So... I remember President Reagan. The problem is I was in elementary school. Uh, but, you know, I've watched a lot of History Channel. <laughs> right? It's, it's not the same for me as it was for, his, for some of you viewers who were actually old enough to understand his policies back then. Right? So my reality, even though we were both still alive back then, there's the factor of time and space and age and your identity back then. Yeah, we were both alive. We all have that in common. We were all there. We were both parts of different consensus realities. We both had different identities and different contexts. So even though we were both there at the same time, my version of it is horribly incomplete when compared to yours. But even if you meet somebody else who is an adult at the same time, you're still going to have a different perception and opinion of the early 80s with Ronald Reagan being president. See how this works? So we already have these challenges about how do we connect our consensus and individual realities together with each other uh, when, when already... Uh, it's hard enough without smartphones, the effects of smartphones and, and data and Google. It, like, it's already challenging enough. Uh, and it's, if it's, it's already next to impossible. So adding search engines on top of the mix is, um, uh, it, it makes it absolutely impossible. Uh, so <laughs> this, I, I, I'm gonna sound like a tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theory peddling drooling cock juggling fucktard uh, whenever I say this but the only way that people agree and again I, I, I'm, a, I'm a software developer like I write and create software like this the only way people will agree on consensus issues is whenever the the major tech companies decide for people to agree they decide whether they do it consciously or unconsciously intentionally or unintentionally uh, agreement on consensus happens at the role of an algorithm uh, an algorithm no that's not a vice president playing the drums get it algorithm I love that joke. I'm the only one. Uh, but it, our ability to agree or disagree on anything is totally at a dice roll of algorithms. And that's 
in a, a naive, optimistic view. Um, the reality of it is, is, is we see evidence of intentional manipulation of, of information. Um, more recently, with, with, with the larger social media giants practicing censorship. Uh, I used to have a much different opinion of that. I used to think that it was a danger to free speech, and I still sort of do. But um, I, I decided to do an experiment that, that really opened my eyes. Uh, I tried to upload the video talking about it and the upload failed. Uh, and, and that was this. Uh, I decided to go to the, the, to the fringe internet is what I'll call it. That means no, no Google, no YouTube, no Facebook, no Twitter. Uh, and go to some of the alternate search engines like ask.com or ask Jeeves, Dogpile, um, some of these other ones that I've never used before. So the goal was to find a search engine I've never used before. So in order to do that, I had to use a search engine I've used before, right? So I went to DuckDuckGo, and from DuckDuckGo, I searched other search engines, and then I found a, an article that was the 15 top search engines, uh, and I went down to the bottom of the list, to the ones that uh, I've never heard of before. And so then I decided, well, now that I'm here, let's see what I can find. And you can exclude search results from YouTube if you want. So I started typing up some of the, the more recent mass shootings uh, and uh, recent headlines, like Tulsi Gabbard, um, the political candidates, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, uh, Joe Biden, um, Kamala Harris, Elizabeth Warren, Donald Trump. Uh, because I wanted to see what happens whenever I go to an obscure uh, search engine uh, and I block results from Google and YouTube and Facebook and Twitter uh, and you know what I found I found fa uh, 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 search results that were so bland and homogenous that nothing really grabbed my eye it was sort of a, a very it was it was a search result and there wasn't anything screaming out of me oh yeah the other thing I excluded was was major uh, news media outlets so I was excluding things like like CNN MSNBC Fox News um, uh, all of those big guys Huffington Post was also out I uh, also ignored Daily Wire Daily Caller um, because I, I wanted to get rid of big names and just see what's out there by individuals. What was shocking was when, when you remove all of the big names, you start to see a lot of hateful, violent, grotesque stuff really quick. Uh, it, it was a, a huge slap in the face, and I wasn't really expecting that. Uh, you know, whenever I removed the, the blinders of the search engines and everything, what was left? A lot of violence and a lot of hatred, or just a lot of bland, neutral search results. Uh, I was kind of shocked. Because I'm a computer guy, I ought to know about this shit, and I ought to know what's out there. But, you know, when you jump out of the pond, you're out of the pond. <laughs> uh, so it, it's it's incredible and my point is so my, my point in telling you this is this um, that's horrible grammar my point in telling you this is this the nature of reality is is literally almost entirely dependent on your search results to, to uh, an insane degree. Uh, try this experiment for yourself. You know, uh, do this homework assignment. Go to Google or whatever your search engine is and type up 15 most popular search engines. And then go to one that you're not used to. 
And then you can exclude results. Like if you do a search for Donald Trump and you don't want to hear anything from Fox News, you can search Donald Trump and then you do the minus sign, like the little hyphen, and you can say minus CNN.com or minus CNN, minus Huffington Post, minus YouTube. Uh, you can use that minus sign to exclude things. So you can basically start peeling the layers off one by one and start peeling the layers off of, of the search results. Uh, if you recognize the websites that are returning results, exclude them. It's really not that long of an exercise. You'll spend about 10, 15 minutes doing this. And what you'll find is that the more that you exclude major outlets, the, the stranger things get. And then it, it leaves you to wonder, well, so w w what is the truth then? What is, what, is, what is real, what is not? Because as you continue to peel off the layers of, of, of search results that you recognize from websites that you recognize, you continue to peel those away, and an incredible shift starts happening. And you start reading, it's like, these are people that I had no idea existed. These are topics that I had no idea existed. These are viewpoints that I had no idea that existed. Um, I very quickly found my way into hate, uh, I'm gonna use the term hate speech because there's really not another way to word it. Just vitriolic, disgusting shit. Like videos of people being murdered and people laughing and cracking jokes about it. And that's not even the worst I saw. Um, you, you, it's, it's just, it's crazy. You can see uh, like who the citizens are of the broader consensus and, and who it isn't. Um, and it, it goes to show this is, is, is the effect of when you get to control your own consensus. But you don't, you're, what's worse is you're given the illusion that you can control your own consensus. Because once you get off the major platforms and start cutting off the, the search results from major platforms and looking at the rest, it's, it's, I God, I hate to say this, it's, it's a red pill from the Matrix moment. When you're like, oh my God. So this is the way the rest of the people think. Uh, and it's really eye-opening. It was, it was incredible, it was incredible to me how quickly I found myself in, in uncomfortable search results. It was, uh, it was just mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. And if I were to keep it up for any certain amount of time, I know that my subconscious would assimilate all of this stuff and the nature of my reality would change really quick. This is the whole indoctrination process. But there's a, a bigger form of indoctrination called enculturation. So there's indoctrination... And there is enculturation. And as you might be able to guess from the difference in the words, indoctrination is, is filling somebody's head with ideas. Enculturation is changing somebody to become a citizen of a given reality. Uh, and this is, enculturation, a good example of this is Orwell's book, 1984. Um, another good example of enculturation was uh, uh, Alexander Solzhenitsyn's uh, a day in the life of Ivan Denisovich. Uh, the, the whole gulag system, whenever socialism took over and it became the way of life, that is enculturation. And the ideas that drive enculturation are indoctrination. Um, God damn, this whole thing is going to have to turn into a playlist. Um, shit. To be continued. <laughs>